Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm your host, Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. This week's episode includes some big Far Cry news, some big changes coming to Beam, a look at June's Games with Gold, and much more. But let's kick things off with the headlines. I am so excited that one of my favorite game series, Far Cry, is coming to America with Far Cry 5. Set in rural Montana, you'll be thrust into the shoes of a deputy sheriff caught in the middle of a fanatical doomsday cult's attempt at taking over the county. The fight takes place across different locations and even across the big sky in aerial dogfights. There is even a feature called Fangs for Hire that allows you to use animals like bears and cougars to inflict damage. Now that is awesome. Huge news this week as Xbox Game Pass launched for Xbox Live Gold members. This subscription service boasts over 100 games at launch to download and play, including Halo 5 Guardians, Mad Max, NBA 2K16, Lego Batman, and much, much more. Xbox Live Gold members can start their free 14-day trial to get instant access to the full library of over 100 games. If you're watching this on your Xbox One, you can check out the full walkthrough of Xbox Game Pass by pressing A now. Another massive announcement this week is the introduction of Mixer, formerly known as Beam. This innovative interactive streaming service introduced some major new features, including co-streaming where multiple streams are brought together simultaneously on a single page, and the new mobile create app which lets you broadcast right from your phone. The team is also introducing Mixer Channel One which will bring great Mixer programming into a 24-7 moderated channel for your viewing enjoyment. If you're watching on your Xbox One, press A now to watch the full breakdown of Mixer's new updates. Last week, we mentioned the Destiny 2 live stream and event in Los Angeles, and that's where I had the chance to chat with fans and the development team from Bungie about the upcoming game. Let's see what they had to say. Your journey ends here. I'm here with Steve Cotton, who's the world lead for Destiny 2. Steve, that is a, that is a large title. What does it mean? It means, uh, it means I direct the world team. Okay. There's a, a big team, lots of amazing people, and what we do is we make all the worlds that you get to play in in Destiny 2, mm -hmm. and we get to fill them with all the action that you get to do, all the activities. When you, when you look at what you've done for Destiny 2, tell us a little bit about, I mean, we certainly saw a lot, of the, a lot of the great footage from today, but what are some of the differences in the world from the first Destiny to Destiny 2? Uh, we've done a lot to make the world feel more alive when you're there and give you a lot more options. Mm -hmm. uh, we're taking you to four new worlds. Mm -hmm. We mentioned them in the presentation, right? Mm -hmm. You got Nessus, that, which we're looking at behind us, and I keep looking over there, yeah. but uh, the Vex planetoid that you get to go to. Um, you get to go to the European dead zone on Earth. You get to go to Titan, which is the, the moon of Saturn with its methane oceans. There's, there's no landmass at all. You, you have to walk around on platforms and go into an arcology. Um, but also now we've added uh, treasure maps for you to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, we've added adventures, which I, I think I might have even undersold in the presentation. <laughs> there are these 10 to 15 minute long missions that the characters in the world now that you meet will send you on. And they do some amazing things. They have new mechanics, uh, different types of encounters. Uh, where you'll you'll you know some you'll build vex structures high up into the sky yeah. or go deep into a cavern and do some other stuff, and then we've got lost sectors in the world that are like dungeons where you get to go deep down and into them and, and find a boss, kill him and steal his treasure. Can you believe it has been one year since Overwatch blessed us with its wonderful characters and insanely addictive multiplayer experience? For me, it's been amazing to see Blizzard grow the game with character additions like Sombra and Anna, all the way to events like Junkenstein's Revenge, the Lunar New Year, and more. As a way to celebrate the anniversary, the game will be available to play for free now through Sunday the 29th. Plus, there is a Game of the Year edition you can grab as well. On behalf of all of us here at Blizzard, 
We want to thank you for what an awesome year this has been for the Overwatch community. Thank you for everything you guys have done. As we approach E3 2017, things are starting to get a little quiet. That's all right, though. It's a good time to catch up on games you may have missed. If you're looking at grabbing any games without breaking the bank, be sure to check out the Microsoft Publisher Sale taking place right now. There are deals on games like Gears of War 4, Halo Wars 2, Dead Rising 4, and more. Some deals are up to 75% off, which is massive. June's Games with Gold are coming your way next week. On June 1st, Gold members will be able to grab Speedrunners on Xbox One and Assassin's Creed 3 on Xbox 360. Plus, a Phantom Dust DLC pack will be available to download for free. In case you missed it, there is a limited time sale on Xbox One S one terabyte bundles taking place right now. If you're in the United States, you can get $50 off select bundles. Visit Xbox Wire for more details on the offer and which bundles are included. It's time for Out Now. Let me guess, she's got a dragon. The beta for Gwent the Witcher card game is here. Gwent was an amazing activity in Witcher 3, but CD Projekt Red has created an incredibly in-depth standalone collectible card game, which you can download for free right now. Like other great card games, Gwent has tremendous depth, but learning to play only takes a few moments. I also love that matches are quick, so I can quickly adapt new strategies and try out new cards and decks. And here's a pro tip. If you're behind in the first round, don't be shy about passing. You don't need to win every single round, just two out of three. This is a great tactic when your opponent has overcommitted their best cards in a round as well. Insurmountable odds, just the way I like it. It's good to be back. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Sergeant Johnson is back and ready for action as a playable leader in Halo Wars 2 multiplayer and Blitz. The sergeant we all love is deadlier than ever with a new green machine exosuit to keep fit for action on the battlefield. Not only does Johnson bring back some great commentary, but he brings back the Mantis units, the EMP Mac Blast, and more to level the playing field. Portal Knights is out now on Xbox One. If you haven't been paying attention, Portal Knights is an action RPG sandbox that features tactical action combat, player creativity, and can be played in single player, local two player split screen, or online in four person cooperative multiplayer. Also, there is a free trial for the game on Xbox One, which is a perfect opportunity to try out the game first. Let's not forget about backward compatibility. Out now is Assassin's Creed 3, Matt Hazard Bloodbath and Beyond, Shinobi, Shadow Assault Tenchu, and Elo Milo. Everspace, the fast-paced combat with roguelike elements, great visuals, and a captivating story moved out of Xbox Game Preview and into its 1.0 launch this week. This is currently an Xbox One console exclusive, but thanks to Xbox Play Anywhere, you can also enjoy it on Windows 10 as well. Another cool idea at Xbox Game called Rhyme launched this week. Explore this beautiful single-player puzzle adventure set on a mysterious island after a torrential storm. Armed with your wits and the guidance of a helpful fox, you must explore the island, reach the tower's peak, and unlock its closely guarded secrets. Now it's time for the weekend highlight. Fallout 4 is also available to play for free this weekend. Now through the 28th, you can follow the wayward robots and all the shenanigans, collect bottle caps, and more. If you enjoy the game, then be sure to grab the game while it's also on sale and keep your progress. How about a little did you know? Did you know you can hold down the A button on an emoji and it will give you more options for emojis? That's right, who doesn't like the poop emoji? Cause that's how you'll find it. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching. Yeah.